why do politicians love to hate Farouk Kibet? Just the mention of his name sends shiver down the spines of many, stirring agitation among a section of Kenyans. But sasa hao watu waliingia kina Farouk utafikiri wao ndio wamechaguliwa kama rais. Matapeli ndio wamezungusha rais Ruto. To the public, he is Farouk Kibet. But to those in power, he is Farouk Tegut Kibet. President William Ruto's most trusted aide. The gatekeeper to the country's highest office. Na unajua watu wanasikia ka Farouk, 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 Farouk. Wanafikiria ni mtu utaenda upate ako na ofisi from moja pale kwa rais wetu. Mimi naona ofisi ya Farouk hata ni ile ya rais wetu wa Kenya. Kwa sababu uwezi fikia rais Farouk akisema no. Since 2007, Kibet has silently called the shots within Ruto's inner circle, meticulously deciding who gets access to the president. He observes, notes and memorizes keeping tabs on every move, every whisper and every rising power broker for future reference. Farouk's rise to influence is riddled with irony, starting with an insult. Back in 1997, when Ruto was just stepping into the murky waters of Rift Valley politics, Kibet was already a loyal supporter to the powerful North Rift political elite, backing heavyweights like Mark Toll, Ezekiel Barangetuni, and Ruben Chesire. Farouk was known for his fierce verbal attacks on political newcomers, and young Ruto, seen as a threat to the status quo, was no exception. At first, Farouk was fiercely opposed to Ruto's rise. But according to long-time Ruto ally Isaac Maio, some Rift Valley leaders convinced Farouk to switch sides, and once he joined Ruto's camp, his loyalty never wavered. Farouk became one of Ruto's most dependable allies, earning himself a nomination as a Waren County Councillor from 1997 to 2003, a turning point in his story. As Farouk's influence grew, so did the fear surrounding him. His opinions became law among local leaders, and even national figures traded carefully around him. Katika ofisi ya DP, sa saba na nusu, hiko chakula mzuri sana. Na hiyo chakula, ule jamaa ata kukosesha ni Farouk Ibeti. Ata ukiwa na nja, anakuambia kuja Tuesday. Sasa unauliza... Mtu wako na nja, ako na shida. Anakuambia, my friend, wewe ni mtu ya Tuesday. Wewe ni mtu ya Thursday. Sasa wajumbe wanakuja. Na hata hii watu unaona wana wajumbe hawa wana sifu Faruk. Ni watu wamejipanga sana. Wanajua wasipomsifu. Wasipomsifu huyu mtu. Hey his power was on full display during former President Uhuru Kenyatta's visit to Nandi and Kericho. Farouk summoned area leaders, headed them into a hotel, and personally led them in convoy to inspect the event venues. On the day of the launch, Farouk took control, orchestrating logistics and issuing directives like a general on the battlefield. <laughs> Farouk's loyalty deepened during the chaotic 2007 elections when he led protests at Eldoret police station. His arrest and subsequent release marked a turning point in his relationship with President Ruto, who began to take him even more seriously. <laughs> From then on, Kibet secured a permanent place in Ruto's inner circle, proving that he earned his spot through sheer greed and loyalty. Ni kiongozi wetu wa maana sana. Na niseme ukweli kwa ushidi wa William Ruto na sisi alichangia kiasi kikubwa sana.
Kwa sababu tulisema hatupangwingwi lakini tulipatia Faruki Bet nafasi atupange. Kazi yenye alipewa alianzia tu kupanga sisi ndio tuongee mzuri kwa mkutano na kukaa vizuri kwa ofisi. Anapanga mpaka kila mtu hata naibu wa rais wakati alikuwa anaanza ofisi yake juzi anasema na mnitafutie Faruki yangu mwenye atakuwa hapa. Hata nilikuwa nimemwambia rais Ruto aniwachie yeye apange mambo yangu akaniruka. Akasema anahitaji yeye nitafute yangu na mimi natafuta. Lakini nimemwambia Faruku nikitafuta yangu atanifanyia training six months ashike laini ndio aweze kuendelea mbele. Ask about Faruk in his village and you will be met with silence. No one wants to talk about him and even those do remain vague. Some say he was an exceptional footballer in his youth. Others claim he attended Chepkemel Primary School, but no one is entirely certain. While some praise his generosity in finding churches, others quickly walk away when asked about his past. As Ruto's political star ascended, so did Farouk's influence. Even after Ruto became president, Farouk continued to preside over church fundraisers, earning himself the title of patron of churches. While Ruto has toned down his church donations since his 2022 election, Farouk has taken up the mantle, hosting at least three fundraisers monthly, each raising no less than 3 million shillings. Held at his Tabo home in Wasingishu, these gatherings have cemented his status as a political and spiritual power broker. In political circles, he is called Sir Farouk. He commands such respect that attending one of his events is regarded as the same as meeting the president himself. Farouk ni mtu tofauti. Hata hao watu watu wa kuandika magazeti hawajui waandike anaitwa nani. Ni mtu ako na responsibility i works hard lakini you cannot go somewhere na useme hii ndio ofisi ya Farouk not everyone is happy with Farouk's influence though his proximity to the president has frustrated many with some accusing him of acting as a gatekeeper between Ruto and the people deputy president Rigathi Gashagwa for one has had his fair share of run-ins with Farouk accusing him of meddling in his office with demands and directives some say Farouk has become a political bottleneck deciding who gets close to the president and who doesn't shida ile unaona is some people who are friends with the president also want to be my boss inaweza kana atuwe kwa sababu ni rafiki ya rais atukue boss yangu even some people wanamsaidia kazi mapie yake wanataka tukuniamrisha mimi vile nitafanya kazi Inawezekana hata bloggers ya president want to tell me what to do. Mimi mnanijua. Si mnanijua? Eh, hey, boss yangu ni wangapi? Wananchi wa Kenya na president William Ruto. Whatever the president has told me to do, I have done. Love him or hate him, Farouk Kibet is a figure you can't ignore. His journey from being an outspoken critic of Ruto to his most trusted ally is a testament to loyalty and resilience. Whether presiding over church events, organizing political rallies, or quietly pulling strings from behind the scenes, Farouk remains one of the most powerful and polarizing figures in Kenyan politics today. His influence may be invisible, but those in the know when Farouk speaks it's as good as Ruto speaking himself for now politicians tread cautiously around him knowing full well that Farouk is not just Ruto's right hand man he is the gatekeeper to the heart of power in Kenya sio unajua wakaanza kuchukua vijana kutoka hapa kwetu na kuanza kuwatembeza huko wakiogea mambo ya 2032 mimi nikaambia hawa simwache kwanza tupate tufanye kazi wa Kenya watuamini watupatie another term 2027 alafu muanze kuongea mambo ya 2032 mtu wenyewe walikuwa nasunguka na ndege na pesa na magunia wakijipanga mambo ya 2032 na hiyo watu ya bonde la ufa ndio walikuja kuharibu watu wa yetu hapa huyo msaidizi wa rais ndio alianza kukoroga siasa yetu hapa akianza kupanga mambo ya 2032 anachukua anachukua watu anaweka kwa ndege anapeleka huko anasema wewe utakuwa rais wewe utakuwa deputy president oh sijui wewe nini 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 yeye ndiye ameharibu hii serikali yetu na kukoroga na kuanza kupanga siasa ya 2032
Huyu msaidizi wa rais unamjua? Si unamjua? Eh unamjua? Kuna mtu amjui? Hakuna mtu amjui. Yeye bi aliharibu. Anakuja anachukua vijana hapa anataka kuandaa na wasanya huu endeni hapa harambi endeni hapa sijui ifanya wewe utakuwa president wewe utakuwa running mate oh wacha nikuweke kwa ndani ya rais oh hii dela itakuwa yako hiyo maneno yote kwa sababu hii maneno hii ya hii serikali tukiwachia watu haribu waingie katikati ya rais na mimi watu haribu na hii maneno imeanza hapo rebu pale na vile nilisema siku nilikuwa Eldoret na mvumbe mmoja akanitukana sana nikasema pangeni siasa ya kwenu siasa ya bonde sisi hatuelewi kwa sababu bonde ni huko chini na nyingi mnajua vile huko chini